welcome to Draw the Day. My name is Abby and I'm the artist. Today's activity is called High Five and we will be drawing around our own hands to create a colourful piece of artwork and then we're going to fill it with all the things that we love. So I'm going to show you what art materials we need and then if you need to pause the video while you go and get the art materials then that's okay. So first off, you're going to need two pieces of white A4 paper and then you're going to need either some colouring pencils or some colouring pens. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of both for today. And then a pair of scissors, which if you need help cutting out, do ask an adult. And then some glue. I'm going to use um, a glue stick. You can use PVA or any glue that you have in the house. So that's everything that we need, so um, come back soon. Welcome back. So this is uh, what I created. Uh, these are my hands and I filled it full of all the things that I like and I'm just gonna tell you what they are. So I've done a sunshine, some rainbows, flowers, uh, some clouds with rain and then I've used pencil to colour these in and then on top of the pencil I've used pen, felt tip and I've just wrote some things that I love so flowers, rain, friends, my dog, sunshine, laughing, rainbows and the colour purple. So have a think about all the things that you like and um, maybe write a list if you're struggling um, and, then, and then come back and then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to show you first off what to do. Now we're going to draw around our own hands. Um, you might find this difficult if you're right-handed and you put your right hand down and you need to draw around that with your left hand. You might find it a bit difficult because it can be a bit wobbly. So you could always ask um, someone in the house to help you if, if you're struggling, okay? So what we're going to do is draw around one hand first and then the other hand. So I'm going to put my left hand down onto the white piece of paper and I'm going to take a purple felt tip. Now you can choose any colour that you like. I'm choosing purple because that's my favourite colour. And then open your fingers nice and wide so the pen can get really in between your fingers, okay? And you want to be taking up about half of the space of the page, so leave the other half for your other hand. Okay, so I'm going to start here where my wrist begins and I'm just going to lean the pen against my hand and just gently and slowly draw around your fingers. Now it is going to be wobbly and that's fine, that's really okay. If you want to do this in pencil um, you can do as well and then go over it in pen so that's my left hand done and I am right handed so I found that fairly easy to do. So there you go, that's my left hand. And then I'm going to draw around my right hand so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my right hand on the paper and I'm going to take my felt tip and I'm just going to start with my wrist and go all the way up over my fingers and in between. So remember to leave a nice gap in between your fingers. There we go. There we go. So they're my hands. They look great. They are a little bit wobbly, but we can colour in around this a little bit more anyway. So, uh, okay, so what we'll do next is start to fill them full of everything that we love. Now, I'll copy the same as what I've done before. So I'm going to start with a rainbow and um, I'm going to go from the wrist and I'm going to go over the hands and I'm going to come back down. So I wonder if you like rainbows. Um, I've been drawing quite a lot of rainbows lately. If you've seen some of my other videos, then I've done quite a lot of work um, painting and drawing rainbows, which has been lovely because I do like rainbows. And I'm just going to colour in 
a nice thick line just so we've got that first colour of rainbow. So there we go. And then I'm going to take, that's red, and then I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to go underneath it and I'm just going to colour it in again. Now I am rushing um, just to get it done quickly so I can show you what to do. So you can take your time and if, if you want to pause the video at any point you can do. So I'm going to just finish off this orange piece. There we go. It's looking, looking lovely. I've got things under the table that's making it bumpy. So, um, I don't think you're going to need a tablecloth, but for this one, because we're not using any paints, but we might do for the felt tips later. So, it might be a good idea to put a tablecloth down anyway, just in case, so you don't um, damage any of the table. So I'm using my yellow now, and I love the colour yellow. It always reminds me of the sun and I think that's why I included it in my first piece as well so I did the sun here so I'm going to do that now because I've got the yellow in my hand so I'm just going to draw a big circle like this and I'm going to colour it in. I've used um, crayons, felt, uh, pencils, sorry I've used pencils um, because I really like how when you colour it in, it doesn't leave any kind of marks on the paper. It looks really nice and, and soft. So that's why I've used pencils. And I think when you're colouring it in, it feels really relaxing. Do you notice that when you're colouring it in with pencils, it feels really relaxing? Now what I'm doing now is just some lines. And these are the rays of the sunshine. There we go. So that's beginning to look really lovely, isn't it? So now I've finished with my yellow, I'm going to do green and I'm going to go back to the rainbow. And I'm working inwards to create this beautiful rainbow shape. So there's my green. It's starting to look really colourful. Lovely. And blue. So if you don't have all the colours of the rainbow, you could always um, use your favourite colours. You could use whatever colours you've got in the house. So don't worry if you don't have a red or you don't have a blue. Perhaps you'd like to use a pink instead or a purple. There we go. So even though I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking my time. It still looks really, really good. So I don't think you can go wrong when you're doing this activity. Um, so don't worry about doing anything perfect because it's not about that. It's just about having fun. Mine certainly isn't perfect. Now this colour I'm using is supposed to be like an indigo. So it's like a dark blue that I'm using. And then I've only got one colour left to do, and that's the um, the purple, the violet at the end. There we go. Mm. There we go. I love that. That's looking really great. I wonder what yours is looking like at the moment because you might not be doing a rainbow, you might be doing something else at the moment, but it's okay because we're still working together. So I'm going to do my clouds next because I had some clouds on this side of the hand because rainbows, I don't know if you've noticed, um, rainbows only appear when there's rain and sunshine. So we need to create some rain clouds. And I'm going to do this circular pattern to colour it in my, rain, my clouds because I think it gives it a really nice finish. There we go. It makes them feel fluffy like real clouds because real clouds are kind of fluffy and 
round like that, aren't they? So they're my clouds. And then I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to put some raindrops coming from the, the clouds. And these are just marks on the paper, really rough. Okay, wherever you like, just dot them down like that so it looks like lots of rain coming down. And then what I'm going to do is just go over the clouds at the bottom just so you can see that the fuller rain and it's all coming out. There we go. Okay, so that's um, oh the flowers. So we're going to say we're missing some flowers. So at the bottom, I'm going to put some grass like this. Just colour it in green. That's what I'm doing. And then, oh, we need some stalks. And then I'm going to use the red and I'm going to put some beautiful flowers, little circles, and then go around like this with the petals. There we go. And then one on this side as well. I love flowers. There we go. So that's it finished. Can you see that? It's beginning to look really pretty. And then I'm going to do some writing on it. Now for the writing, I am going to use... Uh, that's it. So, I think when you use felt tips and pens, it creates a really nice, different effect. Rainbows. I love rainbows. And I love the sunshine, so I'm going to write sunshine. And what else have I got? My dog. I love my dog. Um, so have you got any pets? Maybe you've got a hamster or something? Uh, or a parrot? Or a cat? Do you love your cat? So that's my dog. And my friends as well. I love seeing my friends. So I'm going to put friends down there. And I'm going to put rain. I love rain. I love walking in the rain and splashing in all the puddles. Do you like splashing in the puddles? I'm going to put flowers down here. And I'm doing it all different, like upside down, sideways, the right way. And that just makes it look a little bit funkier. What have I missed? Purple, the colour purple. Uh, I'm going to put it here, purple. And laughing. So laughing. I love to laugh. And I'm going to put this a bit upside down this way. Laughing. There we go. So if you notice, I have drawn over some of my pictures. Like the sunshine there and this cloud so that's okay and there we go that's my high five and it's all the things that I love all my favorite things that looks fantastic and um, so if you want if you have time you can take your scissors now and you cut, can cut out your hands and then you'll have two separate hands and you can stick them wherever you like on my picture I've just left it um, stuck to the paper okay and then also if you do have wobbly lines can you remember at the beginning when we were drawing around our hand and I said don't worry if you've got wobbly hands because we'll fix it later so I do have a little bit of wobble on my fingers here so what you can do is take your your colored pencil your colored pen and just go over your wobbly line and make it a bit thicker and you can also make it a bit less wobbly does that make sense? There you go. So it, it'll look really bold like that. So I'll just do this hand just to show you how it can look. And that already looks so much better, doesn't it? Now I've got rid of all them wobbles. fantastic. I'm going to do my other hand 
because this is looking really great and I'm going to stick this in my bedroom when I've finished or I might stick it on the wall behind me and then next time I do some videos we'll be able to see it and also I'd really love to see your work and um, so if you if you finished and you'd like to take a photograph of it and then you could send it into Cartwheel Arts and I'd really, I'd really enjoy to see that. I think it'd be really interesting um, to see what you love doing and, and how your hands turned out. I've got a lump in this table that keeps making me go a bit bumpy. There we go. This looks fabulous. So there we go, that's it, that's finished. And that is my high five. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I would love to see your finished, pi um, your finished pictures. So please do share them with me, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.